Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we are doing another episode of checking out one of your guys' solar systems. So today we have got a system from Nathan Universe. It's been a while since I've done one from them but they've said that this will be their last system that they will send in because their Universe Sandbox is uh, broken. So yeah that does kind of suck but it's been a pleasure reviewing your systems um, Nathan Universe and like always I'll leave a link down to the creator down below in the description guys. But anyways let's get straight into this. So this system System is called the Oreos system so like that there we go so let's see um what we got today so uh, it's only one system right so here we go oh I'm liking the background already all right so yeah, here is our system all very uh very fancy of all the colors and all that okay there's a lot of um cool stuff to check out on here all right so our star Oreos um s1 here okay so um, also there was an update to universe sandbox we are now in alpha is it 20? Yeah, Alpha 22. So, update 22. And there really wasn't much, I have to say. There was, like, no new Sims, no new objects. It was mostly just a Steam Workshop update. Along with um, a new, like, sort of menu for the objects here. Now there's, like, all these uh, fancy controls, which we'll be hopefully seeing. Or, or hopefully I'll be using in the video at some point. But, um, yeah, I've already had a little play out of those. But, anyways, yeah. So, here is our start. So, it's um, a little larger than the sun in mass. Two times as bright. So, there it is there. Right, so first planet, here we got. So we've got Oreos AR1. Okay, so very fancy names. So this is a Mercury like object by the looks of it in a grey sort of um, colour scheme there as well. So there it is. Can we run this? Okay, no, we definitely uh, cannot run this very quick. As you can see, we've only got, we can only really run it at an hour. So I'll, I'll keep this system paused just so the computer can run it because obviously asteroids always cause problems. <laughs> Um, so yeah, there is that. Anyways, um, next up we've got Oreo's BG1 here. So it's a gas giant quite close to the star, okay. Don't see that all the time. So here it is here. Oh, and it's got that weird shadow glitch. I f yeah, from what I've heard, a little you guys have been having this glitch. Um, I haven't actually encountered it on my systems too much, but yeah, this um, is uh, quite annoying, I'm guessing. I think, it's also, I think it's all due to having more than one star in a system. Or more than one light source, I guess, um, in the system that causes this sort of bug. But, yeah, it's quite annoying. I mean, it's not as bad as the Frozen glitch, but it is pretty bad. Like, that is probably quite annoying. But, obviously, if we go in Flashlight, it should hopefully fix it. Yeah, there goes Studio. So, then, um, yeah, there it is there. So, it's a all-brown sort of um, gas giant there. So, that's not bad for a random spawn, um, that one there. So, um, yeah, there is BG1. And it also has a moon around it. Little asteroid there. Okay. And what I've heard, from what I believe as well, this system is was made quite a while back as well. Anyways, next up we've got Oreo's um, CR2 here, going with a pink sort of colour theme. She's that, like a very, very light pink, I want to say. Yeah, yes, um, or a light red. Um, yes, there's that with a blue atmosphere. I, I really like that for some reason. I really think that scheme goes well with the atmosphere and obviously the background colour. Not many people do custom backgrounds in their systems, but yeah, that is a nice... I really like that addition. It, it definitely matches this planet quite well, if you ask me. I think they look... Oh, that really matches nicely. Then we've got MS1 and then MS2, also a little um, asteroid there. Okay, so there are those little moons. All right, next up we've got DR3. Now, oh, this is looking very interesting. Okay, oh, so it's a um, green world, but with an orange sort of gold atmosphere. So that's one of the random spawn atmospheres, and it goes nicely with the green, I have to say there. So um, that is looking very, very nice. Uh, let's check these stats on this guy. Okay, where even are they? Okay, so here they are. Can't comparisons 88 and 62 not bad so um yeah there is that pretty good there's 50 50 on those guys now one thing that's actually quite bugging me going back to these new controls you can't the water and all of the other elements here they don't have those controls it still has that plus and minus which is really annoying i really wish they had these controls because they, they're a lot more useful from what i've uh, from my experience so far um with those controls but yeah anyways here is this um planet i really like that that is a very very nice earth-like planet there and then then we got oreos dmm1 i'm liking the um color scheme on this as well we can see you've got like a dark sort of a uh, plum purple almost plum pink sort of color there then it's got like a lighter um red as well and then a, a regular red so looking very nice indeed quite close to the um planet as well as we can see there so there are those very, very nice so far. Oh, there's one more as well. So we've also got um, Quasi Moon, Oreos D Quasi Moon. So um, it's got a lot of mass, as we can see. Look at that. Well, in kilograms, it's a lot of mass. But if we go to moons, it's literally nothing. So um, yeah, there are those. Right. So let's um, zoom out again. Quite far away from the planet. I'm surprised the star's not stolen that. 
um, away from the planet. All right, next up we've got Oreo's um, number four over here. And I'm, ooh. So we'll go over here. Oh, I'm liking the color on that. Wow. So, um, yeah, th this system is proven that you don't have to mod to make like nice-looking objects and systems. Yeah, this is, um, it looks like it's got the random spawn purple atmosphere, I want to say that is, but the background could um, make that different. Yeah, to me, that I think that's the random spawn purple you can get, or like the indigo sort of purple. Um, and it's going with a red and white color theme. That goes really well, the atmosphere. I'm liking that as well. That is um very nice scheme, the red there. That looks really... um. Definitely gives me like a volcanic sort of vibe to it. I like that. So yeah, there is that. And then we've got um, a little moon as well. Also with an atmosphere as well. So we've got a blue atmosphere here. And this is a black and white object. So there it is there. One thing I've never seen is the random yellow spawn. You can get a yellow atmosphere with a random spawn. It's one of the rarest ones, I believe, as well. It took me ages. To, or it was one of the last ones I got for it, actually. Um, but yeah, there is a yellow you can get as well, which is um, a very, very nice color to use. Um, sometimes as well, but anyways, yeah, there is that there. So let's zoom out to so the next one's quite small um, as well. Um, that one there. Okay, so looks like we're going into the asteroid belt now. So we, I think these guys are just asteroids, but um, yeah, we won't zoom in on those. But yeah, there they are. There, so AB2 and AB1, so the asteroids. Okay, and next up we have got okay FG2 here. So this is a gas giant, or more of an ice giant, I should say. It's, Little larger than Uranus and Neptune. Very, very good for a random spawn. Look at that. Wow. That is unbelievably good. Look, it's got white in the north and south, and then it's got a mixture of blues. Very, very similar color to my Planet 9. And also, I found out, one of you guys said, if you hold the E key, the E and the, e and the Q key, you can now um, sort of uh, tilt the screen around. But it's obviously doing it a little slower because of all the asteroids here. But yeah, you can now um, sort of... Um, move the screen um which is really really cool with the e and q keys there also the white rings around that look amazing as well but yeah that is a really good random spawn yeah white in north and south and it's blue that's a really that's a good random spawn if you got that um within the last few months that is a really good random spawn because random spawns they weren't what they're, or they're not what they once were i have to say um so you don't get any good colors hardly anymore but that's a really good one so there's um then we've got ms1 uh, next moon. Oh, look at this. Okay, so very uh, dark looking moon here. So a red and black color scheme going around there as well. Um, what does it look like from the... Uh, is there any light here? Okay, it's all dark here. Okay, so too far away from the star now. So how far is this from the star? That's... um. Well, realistic lighting really doesn't um, like it. But yeah, the simulation is a little laggy, I have to say. Um, so at least it's still um, playable. How far away from the um, star right now? 20 so uh, only eight years eight AU away oh, so there must be sunlight oh i think we were just looking from behind oh yes yeah, so there we go there is some some light here as well so yeah there it is there that blue is really good i have to say very very close to my planet nine in color um that one there okay so yeah we've got the first moon there right so next up we have got um i think it's this one here so that's an asteroid then we've got another asteroid number four Asteroid as well, and then number five, also an asteroid, and that is all of those. Okay, so there's that really nice random spawn. Yeah, that's really good. Uh, and then we've got this next planet over here. Okay, so now a 12 AU away. So here it is here. Wow, okay, so that's that. That little thing is very, very close. Volcanic rock fragment. So I'm guessing this planet um, shot a massive piece of rock in space from a volcano on it. Pretty cool um, stuff. Is that even possible for a volcano to do that? I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it isn't. But yeah, still um, definitely get extra points for imagination with that. So I'm assuming the story behind that asteroid is a volcano on here was so large and so powerful it shot out a rock all the way into space. Pretty cool. Um, pretty cool. I have to say that's pretty pretty cool. But I'm not sure if it's possible in real life. I mean, maybe uh, with a, a volcano literally the size of half the planet. I mean, maybe if like it was a moon like Mimas with that massive crater, and if that was a volcano, maybe that could shoot stuff out in space since the object has so little gravity. I mean, maybe, maybe that would work. I'm, I'm not entirely sure since we've never seen anything like that. Um, I don't believe, but I believe um, Triton, the moon of Neptune, obviously. I believe that shoots stuff in space. I think it, it's geysers or geysers, however you want to say them. I believe they shoot stuff in space. So yeah, maybe, maybe, um, Volcanoes can shoot stuff in space, or any sort of geological activity. But anyways, yeah, this um, next planet here, also pretty good for a random spawn as well. Brown, grey, and then brown again. Look at that, that's a 
Not bad at all as well. Yeah, let me know, um, Nathan Universe, when did you get these random spawns? Have you had them for a while, or are these new, or... I don't know, because you did say the system was quite old now, but... Anyways, um, next up we've got MS1 Destroyed Moon. So I'm guessing these rings are made from a destroyed moon. Okay, I'm really liking the white rings as well. Then we've got MS2. Um, then we've got another moon here. So that's actually something we can look at. So there it is. That's just an all-frozen ice world with a atmosphere. So there is that. Okay, then we've got purple two atmosphere. Okay, so another random spawn purple atmosphere it looks like. With a uh, black and white and a light yellow sort of theme to it. Pretty interesting mix of colour as well. Alright, so there are those. Alright, so now we're heading out to Oreos S2. So it's a binary star system. And this is a red dwarf. Also with its own little uh, system going down as well. So there it is here. So, um, yeah, first um, planet around here is a... I guess you would call it a hot gas giant. It's not really being... It's not really scorched. It's not, a, it's not like a super puffy planet. So, yeah, you just got a, a warm gas giant um, close to the red dwarf there. Then we've got um, S2R1 also with a purple atmosphere as well. Now, I'm assuming you can, yeah, you can actually see the gas giant from this um, the surface on there since it is a red dwarf. It's quite a small little system. If we, so, if we look up, we will see, we'll see our star and then we'll see um, the gas giant as well. Cool. So, there are those. Then we've got MS1. So there is that, looking good. One thing that would be cool is if, or is with moons in the um, universe sandbox, if they were like space engine, where they can actually reflect light, or the planet can reflect light onto the moons at night and time and stuff. It's a pretty cool um, feature, that. Anyways, um, next up we've got another gas giant here. Also quite a decent random spawn, if you ask me as well. It's only got like a one yellow band, or like a ta or not a tango, a olive sort of yellow band going through it there. But yeah, there it is, that. Then we've got um, another moon here. So also with a blue atmosphere. So there we are. You can also get a random red atmosphere as well. That would probably look quite good on here. But yeah, there is that moon. Okay, I just got an email on my phone about the new Universe Sandbox update. That is literally, is literally is just a Steam Workshop update. And obviously the interface has changed. There's no new objects. But the normal solar system simulation does have a new object added to it. It's just an asteroid that flies in and leaves again. So obviously one of those, um, it was one of the things from last year, if you guys remember that. Um, then we've got MS3, MS5, and I think that is it all for that. And then there's really another ring system, and actually it's an orange ring system around the um, Red Dwarf there. And I believe that is it for the um, Oreo system. So overall, pretty cool system. There definitely was some um, interesting objects in here. Favourite gas giant is definitely that blue, um, definitely that blue one there. I'm just going to go ahead and remove the rings so we can actually uh, move quicker. There we go. Oh, now it runs way quicker. Look at that. Look how much more smooth it is. So you know, we can. So if we actually click play, it probably run now. Yeah, that is definitely my favorite gas giant. That is a really good random spawn, if you ask me. Very, very good. Um, and then favorite rocky, I'm going to go with this. I really do like that red, or not, or like the golden or brown sort of atmosphere with the green. That looks really nice, I have to say. Yeah, so they're my um, top two um, objects. But I also do like this one. When I saw that earlier, the purple with the red and grey. That is a nice scheme as well. So, yeah, they're my uh, top three objects for this system. But, yeah, anyways, um, special thanks also again for Nathan Universe for sending this um, system in. And, yeah, like I said, this is the last system, or like he said, sorry, this is the last system um, he'll be sending in. So, yeah, it's been a good run. It's been good fun checking out your systems, um, Nathan Universe. And, yeah. So, guys, let me know which object do you think is uh, best out of all the ones in here. Yeah, look at the simulation does run now. Check it out. There we are. Or we can run it at six hours. So we can run it six, seven times quicker um, now. So yeah, run it eight hours, seven hours. So we can run it about seven, eight times quicker than before. But still, um, obviously not the fastest. But yeah, let me know which object do you think is the best out of all these systems. And also, if you've got a system to send in, then um, make sure to send a download link in the YouTube comments. Or if um, you want an easier task, join my Discord server and literally just um, upload it in the um, channels in there. Um, and also, there's those of other people you can talk um, about, um, or talk to um, about modern objects. If any, because I know some people have been asking about modded objects recently. And I, actually, I can mod now. Maybe I'll show off what I can do in another video if you guys want that. But yeah, I've started modding as well. So um, yeah, there is that. But yeah, then um, but then again, um, 
I'm not really that good. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I could do that if you guys want. But anyways, um, that is it for today's video, guys. Let's see if we can go for 40 likes on this video. Also, subscribe if you're new. Helps on the journey to 6,000 subscribers because we're making good progress. So yeah, massive thanks to everyone who's recently subscribed and everyone who sticks around for every video as well. Massive thanks to you guys. And yeah, that is everything. So make sure you guys all have a great day. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.